and really burying that the fish with fingers. Puffy, the puffer fish, could blow the best bubbles. Other fish would have come from miles around to see his bubble blowing show. Big bubbles, small bubbles, round bubbles, square bubbles. They'd never seen anything quite so amazing until they caught sight of Barry. Barry was no ordinary fish. Barry was a fish with fingers. Suddenly, everyone wanted to find out more about the amazing fish with fingers. What can your fingers do, Barry? They asked. Tell us, tell us. Well, said Barry, fingers meaning finger painting, knitting, cutting, and finger puppets. But best of all, fingers mean tickling. The fish had never had so much fun. Come on, Puffy, join in, said Barry. But Puffy didn't want to join in. He was feeling sad. Now nobody wants to see my bubble bone shell, he sighed. I hate Barry's fingers. They're stupid. So while Puffy sulked on Zoom, Barry and the other fish had a whirl of time chasing each other through sea caves, in and out of seashells and through the seaweed. But all of a sudden, Barry stopped dead in his tracks. He heard a loud splash and a rumbling noise. Then the sea got darker and a big shadow covered the ocean. Oh no! cried Barry. Oh no! cried a fish. A huge crate had fallen into the water and it was going to squash Puffy. Quick, Barry, do something! cried the fish. And that was when Barry did something truly amazing. He pointed, Look out, Puffy! With a loud crash, the crate hit the seabed. Was it too late? Had poor Puffy been squashed? Phew, no, he hadn't. Thank you, Barry, said Puffy. You saved my life. I'm so sorry for being a grumpy, small spot. Can I play tickle, Jace? But Barry had a better idea. Let's party! Take it away, Puffy, he cried. So Barry played the piano, Puffy blew the trumpet, and everyone had the best time.